this episode of the Average Joe Florida, coming to you today from the Orange Garage, level one. We're heading over for dinner at Disney Springs. I'm not going to say downtown Disney, but Disney Springs. We're going to... Where are we going? We're going to... Blues. <laughs> I don't remember, I'm asking you, where are we going? House of Blues. House of Blues. So we're going to dinner tonight at the House of Blues. So we're going to go check it out. I was at the House of Blues years ago in Chicago. Never been to this one. I have never been to this so, one either. So we're going to go check, you've been to the House of Blues somewhere else? On the bench? No. Oh, okay. So we're going to go check it out. And uh, this gentleman's going the wrong way, on a one-way street here. So uh, we're going to go check it out. And we'll meet you on the inside, we go to the restaurant. All right, folks, we'll see you there. Hang tight. Arriving off the escalator here to Disney Springs, it's 76 degrees, so it's a warmer night, but it's actually not bad. And we're going to go on over to the, towards the west side. The balloon is up and blowing around up there, as you can see. Oh, there she goes to the right now. Wow. That's a lot of motion for that balloon. It is. Right here, it's perfectly still. Yeah, and I'm perfectly still, so that balloon is really moving. Whoa, look at it. Upper wind current. It's like a Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade balloon that's getting blown around. Yeah. Watch out, Spider-Man's arm's gonna hit a lamppost. All right, gonna, whoa, there it goes again. To the right now. I, I've never have seen that much motion on that balloon before. Look at that. The camera's fuzzy, I'm sorry about that, but that's incredible. Look at that. It's like a paved brick road or something. That's cool, huh? Yeah. It's like a big old cookie shoe. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yep. That's got gummies on it. Yep, that one's got gummies. And all the apples back there. At the candy cauldron here. You can always tell when you're near the uh, cigar store because you can smell it. So it's the cigars right there, the aficionados. It's not a bad scent at all. No, it's as just, long as it's not overwhelming you. Right, so it's a family cigar. It's oh, just good. unexpected to smell it, that's all. Yeah, it's too bad, you can't smell it on the camera. I know. <laughs> Gentlemen, they're enjoying a cigar. Going past the M&M store, and the rest of the M&Ms are up on the side of the building. If you recall from our other video, we were here, there was a bunch missing still. All nine M&Ms are now up. It's reopening soon. All right, we've arrived here at the House of Blues in Disney Springs. So we're going to go ahead and have some dinner. Kick it off. It's when they have small concerts here. Warmers. Barbecue. House of Blues. Welcome to Bovina. Outdoor bar is not open. There's the entrance to the restaurant. We got a cheeky man here. Look at that moon up there. Like to see what the menu is. Okay, we placed their order. I got a bowl of gumbo to start, and uh, it's uh, supposedly real southern gumbo, so it has chicken, it has andouille sausage, and then it has the trinity of peppers, broad onions. So we'll see how the gumbo is. Never had it. I've never been here. I went to the one in Chicago years and years and years and years ago. Never been to this one though. And then I got the brisket uh, smokehouse meal. So it should be good. We'll see what it turns out. What'd you get? And we each got a salad. 
And then we got, um, I ordered separately Brussels sprouts and um, the ribs, half wrap of ribs. Yeah, you like ribs. Yeah, but I do like ribs. You're getting them dry, right? So not some mess. dry and I'll, I'll just see if I like the, uh, the barbecue sauce. sauce. I right. kind of like them dry. So. I will say, here's the inside of the restaurant, as you can see. It's noisy in here. Very noisy. That was like a dance floor down there, actually, where those tables are set up. And they have a full, old-fashioned bar back there. And as you can see, on the wall, there's Jake and Elwood Blues, the Blues Brothers, right up there on the wall. BB Blues Bar. So, that's Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi up there. A long time ago. Okay, so we started eating Caesars when it came out right away. So, there's uh, Caesar salad and my Caesar salad. I ate a crouton already. And that was the gumbo. It's a small cup and it had rice in the middle that I broke up into it already. So, um, it's good. It's definitely got a kick to it. Bunch of andouille. Very, very spicy. Yeah, but it's good, right? It's good. There's definitely whole pieces of chicken and there's andouille sauce. You can actually yep. see in there. So, the gumbo's good. It's spicy, but good. And the salads are just typical Caesars, but they're really good Caesar salads. Very good. So, the regular meal should come out shortly and we asked for some paper straws for our drinks. <laughs> she almost. Fancy paper straws. We're going to go on to the main course. Okay, so there you go. You got the half pack of ribs. Oh my god. With yeah. beans and a piece of corn. Pickles, right. cornbread. Those are pickled uh, onions on top there. Pickled onions and corn. Oh, That's it's street, got a, street it's got corn. A, yes, yes. Yeah, it's got a sauce on it. Brussels sprouts is the side you got. Look at the Brussels sprouts. Instead oh, of man. taking coleslaw, you asked for Brussels sprouts instead, so that's good. And I got the brisket. Look at that hunk of beef Look brisket at that there. Beef brisket. That is thick and beautiful. And I got the coleslaw. So she substituted out that coleslaw. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're so sweet. Excellent. Oh, so good. Thank you so much. So they brought the sauces to us. There's another on the table. So they have mustard, sweet, tangy, and spicy. Okay. So they substituted out that little scoop of coleslaw for that big old pan of Brussels sprouts. You got a good deal. So that's cornbread. Corn, this is awesome. So we're going to dig in and let you know how this goes. But we shall see. So how are those Brussels sprouts? They are delicious. Good? Oh my god. So good. You love Brussels so sprouts. I do. Yep. I just had some of the brisket. The end then the br end brisket. Oh so good. The brisket's so good. Really good meal so far. I'm liking it. Yep. <laughs> that beef was Fork split, excellent, excellent beef. Fall off the bone. Well, your ribs were good, you had half of them. Take the rest home. Damn. How were those Brussels sprouts? The Brussels sprouts were delicious. Oh my god, it was so good. The beans are good. See, I ate my corn. It was excellent. It was uh, like Mexican street corn, the, the mayo and the Parmesan cheese and stuff. It was really good. I, I really, really enjoyed the corn. It was good. So I honestly wish it was a bigger piece. I cut. I don't like to eat them. I cut it off the cob, make it easier. But uh, I really liked it a lot. So it's good. And the Brussels sprouts were delightful. They were just great. Perfect. Very and the, flavorful. And the service has been excellent. These guys have done a great job here. Yeah, we really, really enjoyed this. Oh, and what was the best part? We were expecting jazz or blues music, right? What are you hearing in the background? All 80s. 80s music. All 80s music. Lionel Richie and Bill Biv DeVoe. Yeah, it was great. And it's not it's not too overpoweringly loud. Now outside there is a live band on the patio. So we don't know if they're every night or what. So we did choose the inside just so it's a little quieter in here so we could talk to the camera. But... a bar right over there. So there's a pretty big bar out here. A lot of people listening to live music. Cirque du Soleil waiting for an announcement on when the new show starts. Coming soon.
House of Blues retail store next to the restaurant. You need some incense. They got it here. And they have the Blues Brothers right here. Everglazed the other day, and now they have a line way out the store. Wow, we walked right in when we got ours, but it's nighttime now. Disney Springs gets very busy after sunset, after the parks close, everyone comes here. Wow. There's always something to do at Disney Springs. <laughs> you can just sit on a bench, listen to some entertainment, go to the Coke store, watch the go balloon. up in a balloon, or watch the balloon go up and down, or just sit and relax. Go shopping. There's no lack of bars or places to get a drink. They're all over. You can always go see a movie too. Yeah, AMC theaters are open. All right, folks. Well, sorry, it's still singing going on, but if you like what we do, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. We had a good day today. Dinner was really good. We enjoyed it. We enjoyed coming along with us and seeing some of the things to do here on a slow night at Disney Springs. So with that, we're going to say goodbye. Take care of yourselves. And remember, don't be average.